Now, surprise, surprise, there was definitely some questionable stuff going on late in the Washington versus Philly game. Now, let me just say first and foremost that I am not here to argue on whether or not that this is a catch or not. I do believe that the replay was inconclusive. But what I do know is that the officials on the field ruled this a catch and called for the chain game to move the chains down. First, the official at the bottom of the screen, he motions to the chain crew to, hey, bring the chains this way. This is a first down. Come on, bring them this way. But second of all, at the top of the screen, we have the second official up there who puts his hand up in the air with one digit. That's to symbolize that that's a first down, y'all. Meaning this play right here was a first down. Washington should keep the ball on the 30, what, yard line there? First down, more than likely that clock would tick down to the two minute warning. But what happens is Darius Slay falls to the ground and says he's injured. That caused the officials to take a timeout at the 205 mark. Now keep in mind, you've seen two officials, one call for the chain game to move down, the other one put his finger up for first down. The time on the clock is two minutes and five seconds. The clock stops. Mind you, it's before the final two minute rules kick in. So the officials can't just step in and say, oh, well, we're gonna do a booth review or we're gonna review this and change it on our own. Now, during the time in which Slay is getting up off the field, mind you, a situation where the chains have been moved down to the new spot where the new first down is at. And there's like this uncomfortable couple of moments where nothing really happens. The officials stand there talking to Sam, you see a little things going on here and there. I mean, I'm not a professional lip reader, but it looks like Sam says, but I could have sworn y'all said first down over there. Why are the chains moved? What's going on here? And you could clearly see the side judge and Ron Rivera arguing about this as well. And I'm really not sure what the hell's going on here, but all of a sudden the field judge leans over to Sariano, who I'm thinking is probably trying to challenge if this is a first down or not, and leans over to him and says, oh no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And the whole thing flips into this weird concoctive, wait a minute, the, the, the referee needs to speak to everybody, hold on. And the first time that we learned it's gonna be fourth down is when Sariano walks away with his fist in the air right here, letting his team know it's fourth down. Mind you, the chain gang is still down there. They had to turn around and move back to where it was fourth and one. Again, not a lip reader, but it looks like Sam says, well, he said it was first down. I don't know what the hell's going on right now. Now, remember now, keep in mind, a couple minutes have passed. The referee comes over and tells something to Ron Rivera. My guess is he's telling him it's going to be fourth down. And Ron's like, you just fucked me, man. You just fucked me. Siriana says, thanks, guys. I needed that one. Appreciate it. You can read his lips. He said, you're a real trooper, man. Good job. Referee steps to the microphone, and oh, surprise, surprise, the microphone doesn't work. He now tells us that it's an incomplete pass. And the whole reason why this is just complete fuckfoolery is now Washington has to challenge this play. They had no choice whatsoever. Of course, we've seen the replay at least, I don't know what, three or four times at this point, and we all know that it's probably inconclusive. Now, let me just be completely clear. I am not one of these people that comes out here and says the NFL is rigged. But when stuff like this happens, it really makes me stop and wonder. They say it's a first down. You got two judges on the field that are right there on the line calling it a first down. Then with no replay, zero replay whatsoever, it was before the two-minute warning had come. So the officials don't draw their own replay at that point, And we end up here. Now, of course, they ended up having to go on with their play there. And Washington got sacked. They lost downs. Philadelphia scored again. You know, I'm not trying to complain about what happened at the end of the game, although Sam did drop him right back down to get another touchdown. What I'm trying to complain about here is, is what the hell is this? i tell you what the hell it is. It's a trash call made by a trash set of officials employed by a trash league that knows that their officiating brand is trash. Something tells me that the league's gonna come back and say they messed up on this play right here. And it looks a little dodgy when you start considering that I saw a couple videos last week of the Eagles game that they didn't have any penalties in where there's a whole lot of evidence that they committed a bunch. I mean, we already knew that Philly was a league darling. Do you really have to rub it in our face? And I don't wanna take a shot at Philly on this one. I wanna take a shot at the league on this one. Get your act together. I've been saying it for years. They need to come up with a, an officiating school and make sure that every single official goes through it. And they also need to make sure that things like this right here in this situation don't happen again. 